I plan on doing a mega build inside the end. But the island is in the way, so I'm going to remove the entire end island in survival Minecraft. This took 90 hours to make, so if you enjoy it, please subscribe. Enough of that, let's begin. First of all, we need an elytra. Since we're going to be removing the island, going into the end will be a death sentence. So let's make use of the gateways we generated last time to go out into the outer end to find end cities. So in returning from that end busting session, we got two elytras. That's pretty good, I'm happy with that, we've got a backup here. And we've got all this other additional gear. And now let's get these both enchanted. So now that we've got the ability to fly, we need the fuel in order to fly, which we don't currently have. So in order to make fuel, we need rockets. And guess what? We can build a farm for it. So let's do that. Let's build a creeper farm. So now that we've got this creeper farm finished, we need to light up the island to make sure this thing works perfectly. Alright, cool. So now all we need to do as get up to the AFK spot. And there we go. Right. Hey, we did it. Oh, let's go. So now it's time to go AFK to get all of the gunpowder we need to start flying. And we're back from our AFK session. Let's see how much gunpowder we got. Ah, oh, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so, I guess we need to light up a whole bunch more. Okay, so we have lit up the area, so hopefully we don't have a repeat of the last AFK session. So let's test this again for one hour, and hopefully that will fix the issues we've had. Okay, let's go and check how much gunpowder we got. Okay, yeah, that is a lot of mobs. <laughs> okay, that is a lot better than last time. Almost 14 stacks of gunpowder. Okay, there we go, there is some rockets to get started on this project. And there we have it folks, we now have the ability to fly. Okay, let's head into the nether and start grinding out the stuff we need to respawn the dragon. Nice. Okay, we've nearly finished gathering all the materials we need. Okay, we are now ready to go and respawn and kill the ender dragon 20 times. This is going to be a long one. And get this guy respawned. One, two, three, four, five. I just killed the dragon five times. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I did it all again. Hey, there we go. That is our final dragon. We've killed it. We've killed the dragon 20 times. So I just went and double checked and all 20 gateways are in position. So before we start mining these obsidian pillars all the way down, we need to remove all of this excess bedrock. Oh my god, we had one piece of TNT remaining. Oh, I'm so lucky. All the pieces of bedrock have been removed. So now we can start removing these obsidian pillars. Okay, no. That's gonna take too long. Let's work towards getting a beacon. Oh, that was a skull. Oh god, oh no no. That's close. That's too close. Half a heart. Oh, that's too close for comfort. Oh, third skull. Okay, we're well, now ready to fight the weather. Hello there. Hey, he's dead. Awesome, let's make a beacon. To start off, let's set up the beacon. Alright, well I guess it's now time to start mining away these pillars. Oh god, this is going to take a while. And it did. I decided to focus on the smaller pillars first, as it only took an hour or so to do each of those. The slightly bigger pillars, they took a little bit longer. So I've been working away here in the end and we've removed all the little pillars and all the slightly bigger pillars, leaving us 
with these four mega obsidian pillars. I've already been at this project for about 10 hours, meaning we still have at least another 20 hours to go. And there we have it. After removing 40,000 pieces of obsidian, we have cleared all of the end pillars from this island. So before we can start removing the end island, we need to gather a few materials, one of which being slime. And the best way to get slime is by making a slime farm, which we're going to need this beacon for. So somewhere in our starter island, we have a slime chunk. So let's clear it out. So after spending a ridiculous amount of time, we are finally down at the bottom of the world, which is perfect for slime spawning, but we're missing one key feature. We need to actually build the slime farm. This should be a fairly easy process. Oh hello, our first slime. Awesome, right, so the slime farm is now 100% finished, but we still aren't getting many slime balls. This means we need to light up a massive area of caves. So now that we've done all the cave lighting, we can now do a proper air K test to get all of the slime we need. So after a bunch of AFK, we now have plenty of slime for this project. So let's start crafting everything we need. And with our sugar box of materials put together, we can now go into the end and finally start constructing this machine. And there we have it. The TNT bombing system is finished, so it's now time to start bombing out this end island. But I'm not safe here, I need to go and stand somewhere safe. So we've got ourselves an AFK platform way above the end island, so now it's time to start destroying this thing. Okay, so sadly we weren't able to destroy the entire end island in one pass because our TNT bombers were a little bit too high up in the world. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go flying around destroying the rest of the island by hand. This is going to take a while. And there we have it. We have now removed the entire end island in Hardcore Minecraft. But we're not quite finished just yet. We still have a few things here to remove, one being this long dirt path that I used to activate the machine while it was running, and our bombing machine. Oh, and another thing, we need to make sure we actually get all of our items back, because this thing is incredibly expensive. So, let's do it. And there we have it, we've finished the first mega project of this hardcore world. What would you build here? Let me know by leaving a comment. Now, after spending god knows how many hours in here, it's finally time to return to the overworld. So yeah, we've got a bunch of blocks and items now, and we don't have anywhere to store them, so next time we are definitely going to be making a story system of some sorts. And of course we're going to be doing it on a mega scale. And there we have it, the second episode of Minecraft Hardcore is done. I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like, as this took a really long time to create. You can also play along in this world by using the world seed in the description or by using the world download provided on my Patreon. I'll be doing one of these world downloads at the end of every episode. And if you want to see exclusive previews of this series, join the Discord. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and then check out this video.